General of the Udiyam Party to offer his condolence. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Let me join the House and indeed the Senator of Kakamega uh, to pass my condolences to the family and friends of the Honorable Godlivo Mondi. As you have rightly put it, Madam Speaker, Honorable Godlivo Mondi was nominated to this House by the Orange Democratic Movement Party. And Madam Speaker, it gave her the platform to demonstrate her leadership skills. Many were surprised that after the nomination to the Senate, she actually chose to go and contest a seat as an MCA in the County Assembly of Kakamega which she won in Holera Ward. Madam Speaker, for those who do not know, the people of Matungu constituency are all my in-laws. That is where my wife comes from. Madam Speaker, during the by-election in uh, 2021, after the death of the then Member of Parliament for Matungu, uh, I spent a lot of time in uh, Matungu constituency campaigning for a candidate then. Madam Speaker, you can imagine that Godlivo Mondi, being an elected Member of Parliament on ANC, decided that she was going to support the ODM candidate in that by-election, much to her detriment. In fact, it put her in very serious uh, crosshairs with her own party, ANC. But I remember she took me to every single village within Cholera uh, Ward, Madam Speaker, and campaigned with me and with the candidate for ODM, and the results were there for everyone to see. She then, Madam Speaker, ended up again as nominated MCA in the County Assembly of Kakamega, which she served until her untimely demise. I considered uh, the Honorable Godliver a personal friend because I have worked with her, I have seen her passion in representation of the persons living with disabilities and in her representation of uh, the people of Cholera Ward. So on my behalf and on behalf of the party uh, that I serve as SG, I want to take this opportunity to uh, send my sincere heartfelt condolences to the people of Kakamega in general and those of Cholera Ward in particular and the larger Matungu uh, fraternity and also say that may the Lord rest her soul in eternal peace. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Danson Mongatana. Madam Speaker, I also want to join um, Honorable Bonnie Halwale, uh, Senator uh, for Kakamega, in also registering my condolences for our departed colleague. Madam Speaker, <clears throat> from the description, this is a member who, despite her disability, she was able to win her own seat, which again goes to prove that disability is not an inability. Madam Speaker, I also want to send my condolences to the family and the members, uh, friends who knew her. We wish her well in her journey to the next world. Madam Speaker, may I also take this opportunity to also send my condolences to an icon of Mombasa politics, the Honorable late Mohammed Jahazi, who also left us and was buried on Sunday. Madam Speaker, for those who know Mombasa politics and those of us who grew up there, we remember this Mze as a very active politician. We also want to say Pole to his family and friends, and may God rest his soul in eternal peace. I thank you, Madam Speaker. And Senator Catherine Huyekramoma. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity to eulogize Ashiro in this country. Uh, Madam Speaker, allow me to send condolences to the family of Godliver. I knew Godliver when I was at the CIC as a commissioner for the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution, and we had a workshop at the Lillian Towers when she raised the issue of being on the party list ahead of the senator who had been nominated. And I remember telling her, I went to her and I told her, you must go to court and fight this, because the party lists uh, uh, um, requirement is that the person ahead, you, they cannot nominate a person below you and leave you. And she asked me, are you sure they will do anything about it? And I said, please go to court. And she went to court and she actually won the case and she was nominated to this house. Madam Speaker, when she went on to run in Holera and won, I was so impressed because 
as you know the politics of this country, it is violent, it is too competitive, but Godliva was able to go and compete and do well. As Senator Sifuna puts it, we campaigned with her in Matungu and she was fearless. Madam Speaker, all I'm saying is that she is a great example that disability is not inability. And I hope that in memory of Godliva, we will have more persons with disability, particularly women with disability, coming out to participate in the political arena and represent the way she did. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Essi, Esther Anyeno Kenyulu. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I also wish to join Senator Boni in sending my deepest condolences to the family, friends, people of Kakamega for the loss of Honorable Godliva. I might not know very much about her, but from the descriptions given, she's a good example of someone who's used the affirmative position constructively to impact society. And you see, she even went ahead after getting the affirmative position to be elected. Being in Senate, being a member of county assembly, and now nominated, I think we have a test of all those ends. I'm inspired by how, despite being able differently, she was able to go beyond what ordinary people think that once you're nominated, there's least contribution for you to make other than be a flower girl. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes, Senator Osotsi. Uh, Madam Speaker, let me also join my colleagues to uh, send my sincere condolences to the family, friends, relatives, and the people of Kakamega County for the loss of uh, Honorable Godliva Omondi. Godliva was a personal friend and a political associate. Uh, Madam Speaker, when I was the Secretary General of ANC, I was uh, very, very active in poaching members from other parties. And one of the people I poached from ODM then was uh, Honorable Godliva Omondi, who was a senator. And uh, Godliva came to me and said that I do not want to be a member of parliament or a senator, I want to be an MCA. And Madam Speaker, at that point in our party, we had a controversy on how to choose one aspirant, one candidate among several aspirants who are fighting each other. There were around 15 of them, led by former MP Hone Bomurunga. So I tried to convince her to contest for Matungu parliamentary seat, and she said, no, I want to be an MCA. And many people never understood why she wanted to be an MCA. But Madam Speaker, I want to confess that she made a huge contribution in the county assembly of Kakamega, she put in more energy, put in more tranquility, and Kakamega County Assembly was one of the mature assemblies in this country, courtesy of the contribution of Godliva Omondi. So I have lost a friend, a political associate, and even when I was facing tribulations as a nominated member of parliament in ANC, Godliva Omondi was one of the people who stood with me strongly and openly, despite her uh, disability, to say that we need democracy in this party. When we were not offered that democracy, we all left and joined ODM openly in daytime. And we went to campaign for an ODM candidate in Matungu with uh, Godliva Omondi, even though we were members of ANC. So I have lost a political friend and associate, and uh, I want to join the family to say that we will stand together at this very difficult moment, uh, that we have lost our good friend, God deliver our mind. May the Lord rest her soul in eternal peace. Senator Kenyon. Thank you, Madam Speaker. 
Senator Wakoli Wafula, and then we'll wind that session with Senator Asige. Asante Mishima Speaker, kunipa na fasihi, kuwapa pole, familia, watu wa cholera ward, watu wa eneubunge la matungu, kwa kumpoteza mwishmiwa shupavu. Mwishmiwa Speaker, nimewai kukaa katika vikao mbalimbali na mwishmiwa marhemu, ambaye licha ya ulemavu wake wa kimaumbile, alikuwa mkamilifu wa fikra, na mweupe wa moyo na yale yote aliyoweza kufanya katika eneo lake la wakilishi mheshimiwa speaker mashinani walimwenzi walimpenda na kukata kwake kamba mheshimiwa speaker ni pigo kwa demokrasia na wakilishi wa wanawake katika uongozi wa nchi hii kando na viongozi wanawake ambao hawajibiki kimaadili na tabia zao mheshimiwa godliver alikuwa na familia Aliwapenda wanawe, alipenda mmewe, alipenda kanisa. Na yeye ni kielelezo cha wanawake ambao wamedhihirisha kwamba ukimpa mwanamke nafasi, familia itakuwa imara, mwelekeo utapeanwa na matokeo yataonekana. Kule anakokwenda mkononi mwa Maulana, amwambie mwana wa Mungu Yesu kwamba sisi tulio hai tutaendelea na msalaba huu wa shida na manga iko duniani lakini tunaamini lisilowezekana na binadamu kwa Mungu linawezekana God deliver safiri salama tutakutana baadaye Asante mheshimiwa speaker Senator Asige Thank you very much speaker I wish to also send my condolences to the friends and family and loved ones of honorable God deliver God deliver Omondi disabled county assembly um, member, and we have a lot in common, Madam Speaker. Of course, as the only female with a disability in this house, um, I followed in her footsteps, and in fact, Madam Speaker, I stood on the shoulders of giants like herself who went before me, and paved a way for women like myself to be able to be given a fighting chance um, to represent their people in the best way possible. Madam Speaker, Honorable Omondi, isn't just somebody who paved the way and, and helped to pioneer the space of disability inclusion in parliament and um, in the political space, but she also fought hard as a woman in general. As you all know, and as everyone in this house has seen for their own, especially during last week's impeachment motion, women go through a lot in politics. And it is tenfold, dare I say, when you are a female, with a disability in politics. But Honorable Omondi took on the challenge with a lot of grace, a lot of strength and poise in all of the positions that she was able to hold until her demise recently. And I just want to appreciate her even in her memory, though we were not able to, to speak all of these good things that we're saying here um, when she was alive, as people say, give flowers to people while they're still here. But nevertheless, Speaker, we wish to um, really condone, condole with um, the family and the friends and pray that she does continue to rest in peace and actually to rest in power, I would say, because she has left a lot of power in the spaces that she has traversed, in um, the, the spaces that she's been able to, to create more inclusion and diversity and a space that she has been able to have people with disabilities seen, people with disabilities heard and understood just by way of her being in the position that she, did, that she was in and to fight to stay in that space until this moment, until, she, until we lost her. Madam Speaker, I also just want to reiterate how important it is to be more inclusive of especially women with disabilities in the political space. In the last election, there were about 3,000 candidates and out of 6,000 candidates and out of those, only six with people with disabilities managed to get into seats that they vied for. That is a very low number and that needs to be improved. And I hope that the spirit that she leaves behind as a woman with a disability fighting in this space 
will we in this house and in the National Assembly will honor her spirit and continue how, the work that she so diligently did for all the time that she served all of us as Kenyans. I thank you. Honorable Senators, I note there are many requests, but uh, uh, allow me to only allow Senator Mbazayo as a minority leader to give her his uh, condolence in one minute. Then we close out. Asante, Mr. Speaker. Kwa kuni pana fasi hii na mimi niweze kupena uh, uh, obulezi langu. Bwana speaker, uh, ma, 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 madam speaker, uh, kitu cha kwanza ni kwamba uh, nataka kutoa pole sana kwa familia ya Codliver Omondi, senator uh, alie kukatika nile bungeletu la kwanza la senate uh, hapa, hapa ndani na nilie kuwa anafanya naye kazi e, karibu sana kama rafiki. Uh, Seneta Codliva alikuwa uh, mtu mkakamavu sana. Alikuwa mtangamfu na hali yake ya afya ilikuwa sawa kabisa na alikuwa akichangia sana mambo ya kina mama. Kwa hiyo yeye ni mimi ninavyomuelewa Codliva uh, hakuwe katika lile bunge letu la pili lakini lile la kwanza alikuwa mkangamavu sana na mambo ya mama alikuwa anaweza kuyaweka mbele sana na hususan zaidi ilikuwa ya watu walemavu kama alivyokuwa yeye mwenyewe Mwenyezi Mungu amechukua uh, roho yake kiumbe chake amekwenda nacho mwenyewe alimleta hapa akiwa na sababu na amemchukua akiwa na sababu sote sisi ni kuweza kukubali alio uh, aliyopitisha Mwenyezi Mungu kitu tunafanya ni kuwaombea wale walobaki nyuma familia yake marafiki zake wawe na moyo wa kuwa na faraja ili waweze kupita mtihani huu kwa hivi sasa sisi letu tulobaki hapa katika bunge letu la senate kama, kama sisi watu ambao tunamfahamu ni kumuomba Mwenyezi Mungu ailaze roho ya marehemu mahali pema walipolala wema asante bishika May her rich legacy live on. May her soul rest in peace. Clark, let's have the next order. Order number three, messages. Order number four, petitions. Now call upon the chairperson standing committee on land, environment, and natural resources to present the report. Senator Methu, is it Senator Methu? Where is the deputy? Are you chairperson standing committee on labor and social welfare to come forward and present their report? <laughs> 